Saint of the Day, Saint Angela Mercy. Saint Angela Mercy was born on March 21, 1474 in Desenzano, a small town on the shore of Lake Garda in Lombardy. At just 10 years old, Angela and her older sister became orphans and went to live with their uncle in Salo. Though they led a quiet and devout Catholic Christian life, after the death of her sister, Angela was saddened by the fact that her sister did not have the opportunity to receive her last sacrament and was concerned for her sister's eternal salvation. Angela was inspired by the Holy Spirit to dedicate herself to the Lord and to give her life in service to the church to help everyone grow closer to the Lord. Still, filled with the grief, she prayed to God to reveal the condition of her deceased sister's soul. In a vision, she learned her sister was in heaven with the company of saints. She became increasingly more devout and joined the third order of St. Francis where she also pledged to remain a consecrated virgin forsaking marriage to one man to be married to the Lord and his church. When Angela was 20 years old, her uncle died and she returned to Desenzano. She found that around her hometown There were many young girls who had no education and no hope. Her heart was moved. She also became distressed by the ignorance and upset at her at the parents who had not educated them. In 1524, she eagerly took on the opportunity to travel to the Holy Land. During the journey, she was suddenly struck with blindness. While on the island of Crete. This didn't stop her though. She continued the journey with as much enthusiasm as she would have if she had her vision. She made the entire pilgrimage and visited the sacred shrines. On the journey back home, her sight was miraculously restored while she was praying before a crucifix in the same place where she had become blind. The Lord showed Angela through this experience that she must never shut her eyes to the needs she saw around her and to not shut her heart to God's call. In 1535, she gathered a group of girl students and began what would become the institution of St. Ursula, Ursuline Sisters, founded to teach children beginning with religion and later expanding into secular topics. Her first schools were in the Italian cities of Desenzano and Brasilia. The Ursulines opened both schools and orphanages and in 1537 Angela was elected mother and mistress of the group. Her rule was officially approved by Pope Paul III in 1544 and the Ursulines became a recognized religious community of women with a teaching ministry. Before her death, Angela reassured her sisters who were afraid to lose her in death. I shall continue to be more alive than I was in life and I shall see you better and shall love more the good deeds which I see you doing continually and I shall be able to help you more. Angela died. On 27 January 1540 at Brasilia and was buried in the ancient church of St. Afra, now St. Angela Sanctuary, where she still rests, her body remains incorrect. St. Angela Mercy was beatified on April 30, 1768 by Pope Clement 
13 and canonized on May 24, 1807 by Pope Pius VII. Angela was often attributed with the clock and ladder. She is the patron saint of sickness, disabled and physically challenged people and those grieving the loss of parents. Her feast day is celebrated on January 27. Let's follow her footsteps. Take a look around you. Instead of just driving or walking without paying attention today, open your eyes to the needs you see along the way. What people do you notice who need help but who are not being helped? What are their true needs? Make a commitment to help them in some way. Prayer Saint Angela, you were not afraid of change. You did not let stereotypes keep you from serving. Help us to overcome our fear of change in order to follow God's call and allow others to follow theirs. Amen. Saint Angela Mercy, pray for us.